one, action. I just think it's funny that I have a painting on my head. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know where to put it. I kind of wanted to put it back here, but you already organized everything so pretty. I'm feeling kind of wonky today, so we're doing informal vlogging slash journal playing. So this is what that painting looks like right now. Behind the lovely stack of paint that my brother has made here. And so that's what it looks like and I absolutely hate it so I might paint completely over it. Here's the feet. So I want to change the background but I don't really know what to do. Um, but I'm kind of afraid because I don't want to ruin it. I'm gonna start over talking about this painting. If you've taken a painting class you're probably way better at this than I am but I never have so these feet uh, the shoes and stuff, they took a long, long time. And I'm like really, like I can see the mistakes in it, but I'm really proud of myself for like what I was able to accomplish, especially like the wrinkles and stuff in her socks. You know, like up here I kind of got close, you know, and in here I got close when I was painting and stuff. So it's kind of kept me from going further with it, but I should. Is that I have um, the Paradise painting back there that I love. I love the colors. I love how it came out. And um, I don't know about you, but I have this tendency to look at the last thing that I did that looks really awesome and try to replicate that magic again. What happens is I'm, I'll be working on something and I'll keep looking at that thing. Like I'll keep looking at that painting or like if I do a journal page, I'll keep looking at that journal page that looked really cool. Um, because I want to kind of, I want to continue to like what I'm doing and I like that so I want to make something like that again. I think so. I think what I have to do is actually put that paradise painting away and put it somewhere where I can't keep looking at it. We're gonna play in the journal today, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to talk too long. But I have my gel sticks, and I absolutely love these things. I have found so many things that you can do with this. If you go on the blog, there's a new section called supplies where if I really like something that I'm working with, I will go on there and um, tell you about it. And so there's a whole thing about these where you can get them and what they do and, um, and some more information there. I went to um, one of our favorite fabric stores um, here in the East Valley called um, Sass and I found this. It is heart-shaped um, punchella and I walked around and it's my favorite color which is you know um, magenta. Uh, well my second favorite color. Well I like magenta and I like cobalt blue the same I guess. I remember turning to Becca and saying oh my god look what I found and we both were like over the moon about it. Uh, so I got that one and then I got this orange one that's got really big holes in it and what I figured out is if you put the punchella down and you tape it down on the top and the bottom and you just color over it with your um, gel sticks and you can like mix the colors together if you do a different couple of different layers and you pull it up it like totally does it perfectly and it's just like an effect I really haven't been able to get with anything else as well as I've gotten with the gel sticks. So if you want some you can email me because I will get you some and I will only charge you like a dollar plus shipping which is probably like a dollar. And I have hearts and I have every different size of holes and I do have stars but I don't know if they have any left there. I will have to look. The other thing is that um, a friend of ours uh, brought a huge bag of wallpaper with her when she came to our last uh, mixed media meeting. So I have all of these cool sheets. They're like, I guess they're sample sheets. I don't know. They all look like they were all sheets like this. So I picked the ones that I liked, but I have no, I've never really used wallpaper in my journals, so I have no idea. Um, so one in the back too. Oh yeah, I love this one. It's my favorite one. It's magenta again. Um, so like I really don't know how to use them in my journal or what to do or how to paint over them or something. So I'm gonna pull some of them out and play with them in the journal and see what happens. Okay, look. You totes put the paint on here. Not on my hands. Well, no, you can put it on your hands. It's cool. But you should put this stuff on first. What's that? It's like a, it's a moisturizer barrier cream. So for example, like this color is cobalt and that's actually, you know what cobalt is. It's metal, right? Right. It's actually, um, in larger doses, it's poisonous. You're not going to get, I mean, I've bitten, put 
paintbrushes in my mouth and shit like that. Um, oh, but, is this bad for me to have it as cobalt in my hand? No, it will not kill you. But in the future, and to all our lovely viewers, um, recommended by Kelly Kilmer, Invisible Care, um, Easy Air. It's it's good. And do not put pressure on paint things when you're opening them. Did you just get it all over? On my hand. Oh no, what are you gonna do? I really don't care right now. Look, you should try playing with this. It's a palette knife, see? Watch. What? I just want to paint something cool. I don't know what I'm doing, really. I have no vision. I'm just... Well, lean back a little, so because the camera's like there, so everybody can watch you making stuff. I have no vision of what I'm doing. You can put some gesso down, and then the paint might work a little better on there. And I have no vision of what I'm doing, but I am just... Playing around with whatever. That's gesso. I used to call it gesso. I still get comments on that video. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wash it off first. When I saw, called it gesso, like, I still got comments and shit, like, a year or two later. <laughs> you say it wrong. Well, yeah, well. No, this stuff, but I don't even know what this stuff does. It's what you use to prime your surface. Okay, so I'm going to prime my surface then? Yeah, just be mindful, because if you hold it here, people can't oh, see okay. what you're doing. So you prime, it's to prime your surface, and then you work over it. It does. So I'm gonna take this and oh, I'm gonna do the alphabet stencil with it. Hopefully that'll work. So I'm gonna do this and so this is modeling paste. Mm -hmm. So you scoop it up and you put it down in there like so. All right. So modeling paste in alphabet stencil. This is light modeling paste. I recommend light modeling paste because it's light. <laughs> And if you're working on paper, uh, that's what you want. And then you can pull it up like so. Oh no, I can't find Toads, it. Toads, come here and zoom in on this, will you? What? Come here and zoom in on this for them. Right here. So I put the modeling paste on my alphabet stencil. And this is what happened. Do you see it? It's pretty fucking cool. Isn't it? Huh. Thank you for swearing. It's this is not a PG program. So it's really cool and it's really thick because of, um, you know, how deep that stencil is. Okay, so that needs to dry though. And so I resurrected my uh, Moleskin A um, sketchbook after watching my friend Dina work because she does a lot of stuff like that and then she has to let dry. So she always is working in two journals or three journals or one at once. So this is my journal journal, but I want to play with um, the wallpaper. So I'm just going to cut a piece of this. And I'm going to do like the same kind of things I was doing in the notebook there. I'm just going to... Um, I'm really into my punchella right now. So while he's run off to print, I'm just playing on a piece of this wallpaper because I've never done it before. And I found that foam brushes work so much better when you're using stencils and paint.
Well, I just took, as you can see, um, I just took a picture that I had on my computer and I printed it on my printer, which is low on ink. Always. What are you looking for? Uh, scissors. And uh, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to... I know they're around here somewhere. Hold on. Yeah, I think I ah, it. nope, they're here. And now I'm going to incorporate it in... Oh, looks same as Sam had fun with mine. No, it wasn't me. It was Drake. He did it. He came in here and he grabbed a paintbrush. Um, really amazed me with his ability since he's a dog. And he painted on your thing. I'm going to cut it apart and use it for other things when it dries. I think it looks really nice how it is. Thanks. Still working on this page. Let's see. Yeah. This probably won't dry by the time I'm done recording. Because it's really thick. So these are the pages I was working on when I went out and hung out with my friends in Glendale. And I just did a lot of paint and stenciling. Oh, I hate that, that, that name. Glendale? Yeah. What's wrong with it? Bad, bad times. Oh, that's true. Don't go back there. And that page. And these two. So, I don't really work um, beginning to end on any journal page. This is the first time I experimented with the things on the thing. Um, I kind of just let them sprout up organically, depending on my mood. paper next to you. Yeah. Is there any way you can grab it underneath the map book at the bottom? That's right here. Yup. And not knock it over. Be very careful. That's okay. I'll pull it off. Thank you. And then that piece of paper with the black the black and white piece of paper? With the dots on it? Yes. Oh, I like that side. I like that side. You leave your scissors open like this? I'm going to talk that with them. I need to learn how to cap it. Making songs out of stuff is a song. Ooh, look what I just realized is up here. What? It's a piece of sticky back canvas with a print on it. Okay, so this is what's cool about not working on one page like exclusively all the time, is that I found her and I really want to use her somewhere. Mm -hmm. But I gotta find a place to use her. I don't like that. Wait, there. There. Right here? Yep. She comes the centerpiece. Oh, wait. Hold on. In my bag of tricks here, I have. I've lost 40 minutes. Me? It's totally his fault. What did I do? You weren't paying attention to the camera. That's what you did. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, now we have to answer to her. Well, what am I supposed to do? Make it work, film school. Oh, silly artists. 